if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Hell yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hell yeah, the sub the goddamn hell yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com, go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, dig. <laughs> What's up, y'all? She girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all leak? So, before we even get into this, man, I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, for your class participation. You know what I'm saying? This is the part two of a uh, Messy Monday, and we're about to get into this video, man. Make sure y'all like these videos, comment, you know what I'm saying? It's free as hell. Also, it's my birthday. Y'all just spam up happy birthday for a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Um, yep, I'm at the crib taking care of TT, honey, house. But in the description, I'm gonna have my cash app if you're feeling uh friendly. You know what I'm saying? Help a nigga out. But anyway, uh, we about to get back into this part two. Look at it. Give her her money. I gave her three thousand of it. No, you should gave her all of it when you gave her that three thousand. Who the, you ain't no fucking bank? Giving out fucking loans and shit, y'all. Stop believing these people are hard. Loans with rules and shit. I made a goal when they do this shit. They do this stuff because they know that shit makes money and views on YouTube, Instagram, and all that stuff. But, child. Anything I've done for anybody, I am not about to be like, yeah, let me just go ahead and put it on the internet. Each thing I do, especially giving away money like that. Mm -mm. No, man, we not doing that. Shit fucking disgusting. Gonna tell her how to spend her money, how how much of her money to spend it, because you ain't doing this at a certain fucking deadline, and I ain't giving you. And these people can get their money back. You devil, you from the pit of hell. If it ain't about me, I agree. Let's keep keeping this case. That's what the cat we have. Earth got it and Ashanti. He went on to a podcast. Oh, that's how them teeth used to look. And I was we have one. Earth got it and Ashanti. Whoever did his teeth, his new teeth, I ain't gonna lie, they did a great job. Them teeth look crazy, but they did a great job. He went on to a podcast and he was discussing too much. He was a chatty Cathy, a preaching patty, and a loud Laura. Just talking too much. So this is what he said about Ashanti. I can get past you wanting to be with Nelly. Sounds like you didn't get past that. Just be honest. <laughs> listen, listen. At the time, right. it, it happens. Any man, yeah, of course, is you is her. Yeah, yeah. Right. The chick you fucking are in love with is with this nigga. Country grandma. You wanna you wanna hear how I found out? Uh -huh. How you found out? <laughs> yeah, only, on, only on drink chat. We saw the documentary too. Yeah, so yeah. Me. How did you find out, sir? I was at home. Uh huh. There wasn't no Twitter or Instagram back then. Was at home. Okay. Listen to this shit. This is God wanted me to find out. Was at home. NBA package. I like watching sports. Oh, my God. What's this commotion going on in the stadium? Mm. We just found out what the commotion is. Nelly has walked in with the Shanti. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, nigga, you got some nerve. How you gonna get upset? Because you... Having an affair with Ashanti and mad that she left you for Nelly when you was in a relationship, a marriage that wasn't even final. You got some motherfucking her. Nigga. Nigga. And then you want to go gossip like Gloria <laughs> and tell about y'all first time having sex. Nigga, you are just. <laughs> so happy. Let me let me explain how the relationship and how it worked and how it worked to Yeah, dating at this point. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're together. Matching watches. I imagine you bought her watch too. I bought her match. Okay. Okay. Birkin. It's all that. All right. I bought. She 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 gained. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I don't know about none of this. I just know. Okay. So you Switzerland. Stay out of it. I'm Switzerland. There you yeah, go. Switzerland. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just finished sleeping together. 
or whatever. Okay. I'm taking a shower. I'm in the shower. You know, be creative after. Yes. I don't know what to say about some of y'all men. Some of y'all, ooh, take these Hoochie Daddy shorts off. Ever since the Hoochie Daddy shorts done came out, the men is just not men in them. Up. They out here doing just all this recklessness. Did he have a Hoochie Daddy shorts in this interview? <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be about the record label or something because everything I'm hearing is about her. You ain't let shit go, sir. <laughs> Talking about I let it go. I'm over it. No, you're not. She's the beat. He's sick about that money. He's sick that she fuck with Nelly. And he's sick he ain't fucking with her no more. Sick. Go seek counseling. If it ain't about me, you still like a shunty. Next K. Next on the docket, we have Corey Corey, and then we have Nika King. Now, I really thought we were past all of this. I thought this shit was left in last year. Why is it here this year? Why? I guess sometimes when shit be eating up at your soul, you just can't let it go, Carmen. What are you not telling us? Now, y'all know I'm going to keep it real. I like Carmen, but you know I got to ruffle her feathers sometimes because she got my man, but I'm still mm -hmm. finna keep it real. <laughs> so, Carmen, out of nowhere, after all this bullshit went down, let me just say, because first of all, that girl, Renee, she messy. Renee, I hope you watch this because you messy. You, you, don't, you don't got this girl into all this... Ugh. No, the book, that book, blah, depressing and anger and postpartum. She put it on all that. Nah, she stressed because you, when that man took you Who's out of town name? to the oh. islands and y'all matching and shit, you got her fucked up. Sisters, she's hurting. Sister is hurting. Let's get into why she's hurting. So, um, the girl, Renee, unfollowed Corey and Carmen, right? So it seems like Carmen and Corey are no longer friends with Renee. Now, if you guys don't remember, about two weeks ago, Corey went to the Dominican Republic with Renee to meet his music producer. Now, I don't like her voice, y'all. Y'all know I'm necessarily like her. Just as of yesterday, <laughs> Renee unfollowed both Carmen and Corey. Now, not only did she unfollow him, she also removed the videos that she had of Corey off of her Instagram page. They were doing TikToks, and those were posted on Renee's page, as you can see here. And then she later deleted them after she removed him from her friends list. Now, about 10 minutes after that... Okay, you know what? You know, drama. Girl, because you were sleeping with that girl, man. That's what it was. Allegedly. I'm going to just leave that alone. Y'all believe what you want. Anyway, because I be damned if you believe what you want. So anyway, Carmen comes out and she makes this YouTube video about my life update. Oh, I'm going to go to such and such house. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. Like, and I feel like I never said this before. So I'm just going to keep it a hundred with y'all. I saw that situation that happened with, I don't, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I don't want to say no names because I don't want nobody to feel like I'm bringing somebody into my videos and whatever. I'm not, but, um, after that situation happened, you know, with my best friend or whatever, I kind of distance myself from, I kind of distance myself from friends that have a boyfriend or a husband. Only because people start attacking me, you know, like saying like, oh, she better. I ain't gonna lie, that just wasn't needed. It wasn't needed. I'm not gonna watch lie. Watch her man because Carmen is. Oh, she better watch her boyfriend because Carmen is. Like, who even knew you hang out with people? We see Corey outside all the time, and you the one who got to take care of the kids. We didn't even know you was outside. I ain't gonna lie. Bye. Oh, she better watch. So that kind of like, it was like a, it was really like that. It was like a. You know, and I know the situation is old, but clearly people hold the past against you. It, I just, it takes a lot of patience, really, to deal with kids. It takes a lot of patience, you know. Uh, and then on top of this, like, I had to do my own thing. Then on top of that, you know, I'm a wife. On top of that, so I'm a daughter. Like, right now, I'm helping my mom get a house bill back home. So, like, that's financially stressed, you know, like, 
When I say, oh, I'm just stressed out, it's not because of a relationship. Like, I'm so sick of people just attaching me to just a relationship. Like, no, guys. Like, I have all the stuff going on. I can be stressed out with just being a mom. I can be stressed out with being a friend. I can be stressed out with being the daughter. I can be stressed out with people think I'm just an ATM. I can be stressed out because people just want to use me. I ain't going to lie. Carmen don't even sound like your regular, like, <laughs> Hispanic person, like. Her accent just hit different. Medicine. Do you have anything for stomach? You need a detox. Her stomach hurt? Mm -hmm. I knew it was because it's poking out like yours do. So uh, you need to give her some of that tea. Just give her one. This tea ain't nasty. It don't taste like nothing. But I knew, I knew eventually you was going to say something. You just have to use the bathroom, and you can't. The stuff that y'all eat, you just, it don't come out like that. But that tea, I promise you, it's not nasty. It really don't taste like shit. You could pour some juice in there if you want to. But it's going to be hot. But you got gay right here. I'm just saying. That's why I told you to quit drinking my fucking water. That cup. But that it's not nasty. Yeah, I can But you're gonna be pooping. It's just stressed out in so many other different ways, you know? So, um, yeah, but being a mom of two don't mind that y'all something probably happened now. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like I can just be stressed out over so many things. Now, Carmen brought up the king and neat thing, right? Girl. Your man have all these friends, all these homeboys, hang out with women, go travel the world, but you're always at home. And if you're not at home, you're either with Corey. And it's just, that is just strange to me how you have to be on lockdown, but this man has free will to do whatever they want. Could that be because these people got something over your head? Mm. Now, Neek, everybody's like, oh, why would they be friends again, be friends again, whatever the case would be. Then Neek got shady, remind you, and she came out and she made a video, give me questions for my life update. Now, mind you, Neek said in her video, I, why should I have to make things work? She said, they were like, if you could go back and change things, would you th change things? She said, no, I wouldn't. I don't understand. Carmen saw it too. Okay, like, this was she came with you and told you like the stuff that Carmen she like felt a type of way about. So do you feel like you could have been different like as a friend or like do you just feel like everything that happened between y'all was like meant to happen? Like, like if you could go redo stuff, like rekindle y'all friendship, really like be friends for real. You get what I'm saying? Like, if y'all could just redo y'all entire, like, on your end on how you feel, like... But on my end or her end? Yo, I feel you like, feel like, like if you if I could go back on my end, I wouldn't do anything different because I feel like I wasn't... You but if I go back on her end, I feel like I would change it because... You really wanted y'all to be friends, like, just... Yeah, like, I feel like I would change it. Yeah, because she was very important to me, like, a very yeah, important part. Yeah, yeah, that's part. my accent. Yeah, so, if it was... If I could go back on the whole relationship in general and the whole, like, situation, I would choose for that situation not to happen so that we could still be friends because yeah. I still do, like, you know, feel Care like, about her. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Now, I know all this stuff is a little bit out of order, but it all happened around the same time. So, you know, let's rewind back. After Carmen had posted her life update video, that's when King had came out after that, and he wrote on his Instagram story, time <laughs> for the truth. Now, what truth is he talking about? Because mind you, everybody was bashing King. I mean, bashing him. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty why they were bashing him, because if y'all can remember, this was a long time ago, so hopefully I get all this stuff correct. He had went and told somebody that at that time was enemies with Neek. He had told them that he cheated, whatever the case may be, I guess, with Carmen, whoop, whoop, whoop. That person went back and told Neek and Corey, and once it got back to them, that's when he turned around and said, oh no, it was a lie. I was just trying to see what Neek was doing because allegedly Neek was supposed to cheat on him. 
Now, why would you lie on yourself like that? And then why would Carmen go along with it? Didn't they, didn't they both admit to cheating at first and then say it was a lie? Like, why'd y'all backtrack yourself? If I'm wrong, fix me in the comments, okay? I just feel they made it up again because it got back to Corey and Carmen. So that's why they made up that story. Now, go back to Renee unfollowing them. Um... Corman had tweeted out one day, she said, I'm not jealous, I'm territorial. So, and then mind you, Corey was also liking, still liking Renee's pictures, but then they would go back and unlike, and the fans were finding that strange, like, why is he unlike her and stuff? Do y'all think that was Corman? Or do you think Corey was just unliking it because they were bringing it to Corman's attention? So I think there was a lot of stuff going on there. Just follow me, because it's gonna all come back into a circle and make sense, okay? So then, um, after all that, that's when King again wrote, you should have left me alone. I've been out the way and out of y'all faces. I'm done with you dragging my name through the mud and spitting on it. He also then says, I hope you all have been real with yourself and the people around you. As real as I am about to come, no cap. Now listen, you guys, just listen. This is a hypothesis. This is just me, my conspiracy. I believe he really slept with Carmen. I believe he slept with her. This Me too. It's just a, a hypothesis guess. I can. I have the right to have a guess and just make an assumption. I believe he really slept with Carmen. And it's hurting him that he is being pictured as the bad guy. Right? And he just, he's, he swallowed that. You know what? I'm gonna say I made up a lie, whatever the case may be, and I'm just gonna run with it and let it be. Because why is Neek not forgiving this girl? Right? Nah. Why is he always saying. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, this is a legend. I do not think Neek. Okay. I don't think that Neek knows. Like, if in the event, King and Carmen slept with each other i definitely don't think neek knows because child neek would probably been in jail and we would have seen a damn um mug shot but i do believe king is even more upset because it is some other shit to the story and instead of him saying it because i feel like he feel like he may be disrespecting women because i don't think uh King is a disrespectful guy to women. I mean, they all do what they do, man. But, you know, I just don't think he is the type of guy to like, I'm going to go on the internet and just bash a woman. That's why he really wasn't doing it. He still ain't saying Neek name. Don't want to say what she really did, blah, blah, blah. So I just don't take him to be that disrespectful type of guy. So it's bothering some eating his ass up. And that's what I'm not understanding because it's like something missing. Something is missing. And two vulnerable people is a dangerous place to be. And I feel like maybe at that time, karma was in a vulnerable place. King was in a vulnerable place. And they asses fucked around and did some shit. I don't know if they did, you know, had sex or not. You know, like I say, this alleged, this is just an opinion. But they did something, an opinion, alleged. I just feel like it's something that is missing, you know. And whatever that is, I don't know. Okay? But something eating his ass up and he is ready to spill it and, and don't want, well, want to, don't know how to. He's not the biggest speaker. So I don't know. I don't know. But it's something. It's something. And I think it all will still come to the light, child. It'll be two, three years again from now. And then they're going to be like, uh, fuck that shit. I did. Because Carmen and Nick going to miss each other forever. They don't know how to be friends with each other. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> they don't know how to forgive each other. This is a mess. Uh, Corey and, and King have accepted it. Like, nigga, nigga, I'm making my money. You make your money. Goddamn, you be over there. I'll be over here. And they cool with that. But Carmen and Cor uh, Neek is missing each other. Something missing. Something is missing. I don't know what it is, but girl, we not getting something. Some information is missing. Okay. Saying y'all are making me the bad guy and I'm not the bad guy. You need to be real with your people around you Man, and yourself no. the same way I've been real with my people around me because I feel he's probably told them, yeah, I did sleep with her. 
I feel he told Neek I slept with her. Nah. And they kept that off camera. Just why would Why would Neek continue to keep that off camera? I don't feel like Neek would lose in that situation. I feel like she, that's something she would want to expose because she would expose Carmen and Corey and King. Like, that ain't where she would be taking her L. So, I feel like she taking an L by not exposing that so i i don't i disagree just to with clean everybody's name and let it just die on its own because why on earth would carmen stay with corey after all these times he's done cheated on her do you feel he's holding that over her head like look you cheated on me mm. and i can tell the world that you really did fuck King. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> now that. Now that is kind of like. I would say. Something that makes sense. Because. Girl why you ain't left yet. <laughs> like real nigga shit. Why you ain't left. But yeah. And King it could be like. Carmen. I've been keeping my mouth closed. But I can tell the world. That we really did. If Neek, if Neek didn't, if if Carmen didn't want that to be exposed, seemed like she wouldn't talk about nobody. Like she would keep that shit to herself. I I would shit. <laughs> like I done fucked up, man. Let me not. Nah, I ain't finna run my mouth because obviously, then this shit gonna play my face. I I no, I gotta do everything to protect me. So why the hell would she talk about, why would she go against King when he the one with all the information? Oh, girl, that's a lot. Because then he said he had receipts and stuff too that he could pull out in conversations. And I feel like that's why Corman ain't left Corey because she knows the truth and she knows what she did. Because who else would just sit there and be humiliated over and over? Carmen and wouldn't have brought that up. That ain't some shit you just come to the internet and say. Like, oh, yeah, I know we fucked, but I'm just saying, like, especially for a woman, nah. Carmen would not just come out and say that. That's some shit for King to say. But my thing is, Corey would have been said it. If Carmen slept with Cor uh, if Carmen slept with King, Corey would have been exposed that shit, y'all. Ben, Ben. Corey would have been had a field day on that shit because he sure exposed Neek. Having sex with, um, he said that she was fucking with a rapper and not having sex, but fucking with a rapper. So why would he just, expo well, I see why he would just expose Nika and not expose Carmen. But why would Corey be cool with King saying, let him let it out and all that? Nah, it's given. It's given if this were to be true. Corey and Nick don't know. I don't know, bro. And over again for social media just to drag you. I understand being in a marriage. You have to, um, you know, know, work through things with your husband and to death do his part. But the Bible also said when your husband and them commit adultery while y'all are married, it's okay to leave and remarry. So why would you sit here and, and then you don't have no friends. You don't hang with nobody. You don't do nothing. They fuck. In my mind, allegedly. I'm just, I'm not buying it that they didn't do it. And it's hurting Corbett. And she wants to let all this go. But she's stuck. Situation that happened with a year or two ago. You know, like, the situation have, like, really affected me in my life. On, like, how everything just been, you know, put out there. And all small different pieces. And I feel like I haven't really said to say the truth. Don't really let it be known on you know, these bubble marks on like what people need to be knowing and what they really do know off the people who and are not if, telling the whole side of the story and playing innocent and playing victim in it and if, leaving me and putting me if If Neek, fuck, if King, they named her tongue twisters at this point. If King were to come out now and say he fucked Carmen, that would be the one of the biggest mistakes he ever made in his fucking life. That wouldn't be a bragging right, y'all, because he would have cheated on Neek with her closest friend. So that would not, that would be a L more than a W. Now, especially. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know.
me into a bad situation. Honestly, how I feel about the video, like, you know, she made the video, which was off a situation that was two years ago, which she didn't have to say no name, but clear as day, like, people was gonna know exactly what you're talking about and who you are talking about in that situation, and that put me in a way different situation. It's like, what did come, <laughs> like, this come from when you know what you know and there's no the truth and you're not saying this down the third and it, just, it puts me in, a, in this situation because I don't like no media. I don't like doing it. I'm doing this now and today because it's like it's enough is enough and it's like I took so many licks and I took so many licks and covered so many people and kept my situation as simple and short and I see a lot of the people be like have a high you know apologize to Carmen like bro like I apologize to Carmen in person i apologize to corey in person in faith like the day that the lie that came out the same day i apologized to carmen herself i apologized to carmen and i apologized to corey and they both knew and understand why i said what i said and why the lie was a lie they both know to this day but nobody have not came out and said why I did that, but trying to play it, like just brushing that off and making it seem like something else. Like everybody know why my life was like understood, and even Corey know. And like this, n not even tripping. This n not even like pressed up because we already came up, we already came from that. You know what I'm saying? Even Carmen too, as well. Like it's just like I didn't have to come on the media and make a public post just to say, hey y'all, I'm sorry to like Carmen and Corey, but when I already did that in real life. Like Carmen, if you made that video for people quote unquote not to try to bash me or whatever and you just wanted to do what you, you know however you feel but it's like deep down like you know a lot you know a lot and i feel like by that video being made like to be honest like you have to come out and tell the honestly the truth you have to say the truth i have you have to you know the truth and i feel like i'm tired of people bashing me for not knowing the truth and it's like i said what i said and i clear the air I guess off camera to y'all and y'all know why I did what I did and said what I said but y'all never spoke on the real real and it's like I don't know how y'all can even like sit here and be like clean with yourselves and still make this video and even feel like you wanted to bring this up now there was a video on YouTube that was dealing with all this teen this drama and in the comments allegedly this person right here was Neek's mama and somebody had said something right like about the situation that was going on. And Neek's mama, allegedly, this is her mama, has said, and you're absolutely right, he told a story to a person who uh, wasn't friends with Neek at the time. This is all the stuff that I was getting from the thing too. I feel right now, Carmen has to bash Neek because she feels that the truth will come out. And then mind you, they said, now that um, comment has been deleted. And then we go to the hairstylist. I guess she was the hairstylist for one of, for Neek, I think, or whatever case it be, or somebody. And um, she said, it's comedy how you going through what I went through. He knew the truth. I agree 100%. And didn't uh, say shame. nothing or stand up for me. He let people drag my name and I took lick after lick. Protecting I can deal him. with King talking. Um, he just, he be so focused on, I don't know. Maybe it ain't a focus on what he trying to say or he's so frustrated he can't fully say it. But at least he talking with, with Carmen. I can't, I can't do it. His name. Now the same thing is happening to him. Oh, so this is the girl who I think he told it to and she went back and told Corey and Carmen, is that who that is? He, she went back and told Corey and Neek, is that who that is? And uh, then he lied and said it was fake and they, people were dragging her and now people dragging him because he said he lied, it was just fake or whatever because he now he's over it. Oh. Carmen, if you really had sex with that man, tell the truth. Just get it off your spirit and tell the truth. It's gonna make you look bad, but tell the truth. Cause then it all makes sense why you allow Corey to cheat and you not leave. Because you cheated and Corey didn't leave. But now I guess Corey feels like you done already fucked up what we had. You know what I'm saying? And now it's just not pure anymore. And now he doing his thing. I don't know. This just a whole lot of, whole lot of. And none of this stuff is going to get resolved until everything really just gets set on the table. 
Because, yeah, you're not jealous, Karma, but why are you so territorial? It's because you know the shit you done. And why don't you want to hang out with other people and they couples and boyfriends or friends like that? Is it because people going to say, girl, you slept with King, you fucked up that one. Girl, I don't hang out with her because she'll sleep with your man. Is it because of that? Girl, get that shit off your spirit, sir. Mmm. Mmm. Well, Renee, why did you really leave? Can we have a sit down and talk about it? Why did you really leave hanging out from with Corey and them? Mmm. me let's kiki next case all right y'all that's all i got for the mess in monday Woo! these folks is really in some drama okay y'all well like i always say send a mess to my instagram or send it to my twitter these chips are so amazing <laughs> I will see it. And like I always say, God only made one you. And if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, I will see you next Monday. Next cake. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <sighs> All right, y'all. Done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.